What we have here is a Metro 6 horsepower single cylinder uh, Lister clone made in India. It's coupled to a 4 kilovolt generator head. We are using a radiator, uh, an automotive type radiator for cooling. The cap on the radiator has been modified as to not allow pressure to build in the system. There is an expansion or overflow tank mounted above the radiator which is capable of holding five gallons of liquid. We use a standard uh, automotive type, two and a half inch automotive type muffler, uh, high flow, low restriction from Summit Racing, probably about twenty dollars. There's a flex joint uh, before the muffler and what we have here is a twenty gallon propane cylinder uh, from a barbecue or grill that fittings have been welded into. It acts as an expansion tank and helps reduce uh, the exhaust note uh, quite a bit and it's plumbed with standard black iron fittings. We're also using a modified air filter which is using an automotive type frame uh, air filter to help uh, the engine breathe a little better. We've made a modification, a uh, small modification to the injection pump linkage where we added a spring from the bell crank on the governor up to the injection pump and what that does for us is it removes the slop in the joints helping to regulate the um, RPM a little bit better. We also have modified the governor spring by adding a longer spring and a small modification to the mounting bracket. Uh, again to help us regulate the RPM a little bit better and maintain frequency. I've applied a, uh, a 4AM gas air motor to the system. It's on a small hinged metal plate which lifts the motor up into contact with the rubber belt. Uh, to start the engine up there's a small pneumatic cylinder mounted under the plate so that when you turn the air onto the motor it's lifted to contact the belt and the engine is started. So we will turn on the fuel and proceed to start the motor and hopefully it should start without too much difficulty. So first we're going to turn on the air starter. We're going to turn on the fuel. We will release the decompressor and the engine is running. 